Hey guys, it's Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I have a couple of things I want to show you. Actually, I'm going to be doing another video after this one of the Scrapbook Expo that was here, I think it was last weekend that I hadn't done a haul video on. And I'm going to show you those things. But I'm going to show you this stuff first. This is stuff that I got in the mail. Yeah, stuff that I got in the mail. Uh, the first thing was this book from Caliber Plan, and I'm still trying to convince myself to start back planning, and I'm just going to show you a few sheets, and I really like this book. Um, these are some of the things that I've always wanted in a planner kit, which was this thing right here, the uh, Razcog. I've always wanted those, I like pictures of those, and I just never even took the time out to go and find the pictures, because I can't draw at all. And um, I want to make my own stickers, but not necessarily to sell. But I want to make stickers that I like to use and that I will actually use in my planner. And they have colorful boxes here and whatever these dots, whatever you want to call those dots, prompters maybe, I don't know. And the little cups and little things. And it's a real cute book. It really is. And I think somebody has a walkthrough or flip through of this book. <clears throat> and if you want a detailed flip through, I'll do that if you if you want. I don't have any problems with it. Just ask. Yes, I got more dies. I got more dies. But let me show you one die that's over here. That's I got. Okay. And hopefully it won't. I got not these on the bottom. Those are old. But these two right here. This is a um, this die right here. Oops, can you see? There we go. It's a heart rosette. And this is like the shadow part, the back part, and this is the top part. And it actually came with that little rabbit as a, I'm assuming, a free gift. And here are these dies. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not remember ordering this sunflower die. It doesn't come with any leaves so it may just have been a free one I don't know but I don't remember ordering it and I went through my my order and I didn't see it in there either so this right here did not come from AliExpress this came from Ali by the way this one did not let me see where is the thing for that and I bet you I'm not gonna be able to find it because I want to show you guys of course oh here it is this right here is, is this thing right here is called my memory book perfect locks die set and it does something like this you would have to go on YouTube and put that in and you can see how this die set works so I picked that up I ordered it from what is this place um, I, I ordered it from tonic studios Here is another die that I got from AliExpress, and it looks like this, put together. And it's just the box, not the, the um, not the embellishments on the box. This right here is just some cogs on this side, and this side is that thing right there, like a piece of paper, like a notepad paper sheet with notes and ampersand paper clip, pen and pencil, and some other little things. And this is the sample that was created and it was on the website so that you can see how you could use it on a card. This is the, what is this thing, the cupcake holder. And that's this right here. I got it from Becky Cat store. And this is it. And these are the dies. How many is it? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so these are all the dies for the cupcake holder. And the last die in this set that I got from Allie was this card right here. Let me turn it right. <coughs> Excuse me. This 3D card right here. That's this die. And. I got the smaller version of this, and here's the larger version of the donut dies. Okay, so let me put this over here, and then 
these dies were from a friend and I've had these for a while I just forgot that I had them I always would put them in a special place so I could um, do a tutorial no a tutorial a haul so let's go through these real quick this is a bit and I really don't like this okay uh, I'm talking about don't like the glare and this is the penguin and I was actually looking for all of these at one point from oh god what's the name of the place that closed down Tuesday morning this is this little box right here is from Verso and that's the that back there but that's what the that makes this little cute box this is also a Verso die and that's the box that it makes right there and there's the die back in the back does it get the dimensions? I probably shouldn't even be. Approximately 80 millimeters by 75 millimeters by 5.5 millimeters. So it's 3.1 inch by 3 inches by 2.1 inches. <clears throat> Here's a Spellbinders one. Makes this little thing right here. Same thing on the back. Nothing's on the back. Here's this frame die from Spellbinders. There we go. Does it have anything? Oh yeah, okay. There's a sampling of what it will make. And yeah, that's the TV in the other room. This is another Spellbinders die, Thoughtful Expressions. And this right here is what this die will make. This is a Gemini. Craft this companion die and stamp. So you would stamp your, kind of like almost off the page, and then you would use the, the dies to cut it to look like that. Right there. And the last die are these framelits from Sizzix. These are some squares. And there we go. So, I uh, put those up. I just don't know when or where, but I am going to get those put away as well. And this is the last thing I got from Allie. <coughs> it's these things. And these are a mixture of stickers and like ephemera, paper ephemera, ephemera with nothing on the back. So I got purple, blue, pink, and yellow. So I'm going to open up the yellow. I'm not going to open up all of these because it is absolutely too much. I don't know how many pieces are in here, but it's a lot. And when I say it's a lot, as you can see, it's a lot. So like these larger pieces here, these are not stickers. These are like ephemera pieces. Is it upside down? Yeah, that's upside down. So it's just ephemera pieces, like I said, or you could probably use it as a decoupage. And here's some more ephemera pieces. Got some uh, flower clusters and things of that. Like, so I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff because it's just so much. And some of these, I think the majority of these may be stickers. Like these right here are not stickers. These are just, that's just paper. But these are stickers. These are stickers. And I have some of those as well. Let me pick this up. Here we go. So, got a pretty nice uh, array of stickers and some paper ephemera pieces. Okay, I think that's it. Well, now I gotta find out how to put that stuff back in. Guys, I'm finally doing a video on my small haul that I picked up at the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. This is my bag I picked up. And here are my badges. I got the I Returned. I got the Georgia one. I got 2022. And I got Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but I don't think it's that important. And uh, I got a couple other things in here. I hope I don't forget to show you guys that it's not Scrapbook Expo themed. Okay, let's pull some of these out. <clears throat> oh, 
Y'all, y'all remember Blinks? How little she, he is not a she. How mem- how little he was back in the day, and you see what he's still doing now. Blinks, you gonna get down? Come on, get down. Oh Lord, get down, Blinky. Come on, baby. Down, 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 down. Ah, there you go. All right. Okay. So I got this paper pad from what is it? Photoplay, and this is it's called North Pole. All of these came from photo play as a matter of fact. This right here was $2.50 and it's called Deck the Halls. It doesn't have that many sheets, but it was on sale. I had actually bought two, but I only found one, so I m- might have uh, left one at the um, booth itself. I got this one known for the holidays and I actually went on photo play's website and stamp book, stamp book, have mercy, scrapbook.com's website to see if there were companion uh, items for these and they were either sold out or they didn't have any Let me put that down and I picked up this right here because I do have the B is it be happy what's the name of this thing be something uh, let it be collection I, I purchased um, the let it be collection from I think scrapbook.com and uh, so I found those things. I, I don't think I had those. I got this one that says Friendship. I got a companion pack for the Let It Be Compa- <laughs> for the Let It Be collection. And the last one is Tula or Tulla. I think it's Tula. Tula and Norbert's Christmas Party. And like I said, I went on to scrapbook web, scrapbook.com's website to find companion stuff for this. And of course, I couldn't find it. Alright, let's see what else I got in here. I picked up some mirror card stock. And I'm not going to put it. I got gold. Got green. Uh, iridescent or rainbow. Do they call it mirror? This is mirror halo. It's called halo. I got this red. And I got this rose platinum. Let's see, any more paper in here? Okay, let's see. I got North Pole stickers right here. There we go. And that may have come from scrapbook at scrapbook.com. Anything else? Anything else? Uh oh. That's not mine. Okay, cool. I thought I had another die in there. But that's not mine. Okay. And uh, is that all for photo play? I think this is what I got. I know the, the paper stacks and stuff came from photo play. So I'm just going to say that's all for photo play. And I didn't do a lot of shopping guys because I did not want to have to carry the stuff. And I'm not crafting like that right now, even though I would love to be. But I'm just not. What is this? Let's see what this is. I, I got stuff. I got, I got uh, stuff. This is Creative Creations. And what did I get? Oh, Miss Girl here. Oh, this is so cute. What's that woman name? Gift Diva. Gift Diva is responsible for me by her. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at her. And I don't color. So that means I'm going to have to figure out how to color. I'm going to have to stamp her a couple of times and then color her and see how good I can do. But that's what I got from that store. I was going to go with Booth. I was going to go to I think it's Rubbernecker because they had a lot of African American themed dyes and stamps and I, my plan was to go and get them but they did not bring not one. Okay let's see what else is in here. This I got from one of the booths that they were selling a bunch of tapes. And this, and let me say, adhesives. And this is the score tape. This is the two inch score tape. And I think if you bought so many, you get one free or something like that. I can't remember. Let me see if I got any more in here. So I got two of these. I got these so that I can restick my. Not my Cricut mat, even though it can work with the Cricut, but my my brother scanning cut. And I got these two tumble adhesives. And I actually meant to get the one 
that looks like it's in the bottle for just gonna say glue dots, but it's not glue dots. Enamel dots. I can't think of that name, but you y'all if I remember, I put the name in here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And I got this thing right here. This was a free gift along with it came in this um this little bag right here. Because we got we you always get a free bag when you go to the scrapbook expo. Come on, thing. So this is the bag. And inside the bag was this what is this anyway? I know it's a pen. Pen blender spectrum noir. Okay. And it's orange. Ooh, you know what I think that that young lady that die, I think she may look good if I um color her with this orange. I'm gonna see how that's gonna work. Because like I say, I don't I don't color so I don't even know. And the last thing I got Damn. I got me another mug. And I always pick them up. And it has Stanford Scrapbook Expo Junkie on both sides. And it's the one that's black on the inside. And it's gonna go in my cabinet or in my on my armoire or whatever you want to call it with all of my other coffee mugs with scrapbook expos and starbucks and whoever else i like so that that is it for my my small haul from scrapbook expo now I got these two things, and I was hoping that the other one would have come today, but I, I don't have it. It didn't show up yet, so hopefully it'll be here soon. I saw on, put some bling on it, on her, I couldn't say Amsterdam, Jesus, on her Instagram um, stories, and I forgot to take these out and, and record. <clears throat> she had a, like this little sign on her table, and I was like, oh, Nat. And I, I'm sure I called her, put some bling on it. I say, would you tell me, where did you get that? Because I love those. And she gave me the young lady's information. And uh, I bought two. This one right here is for Tasha's Beauty Cafe. And it has a mascara wand on the end. And this is the one I got for the craft corner. It's Tasha's craft corner with some scissors. I thought it was too cute and I may get another one I'm not sure I'm not real sure I'm gonna see if she can do a bigger one I did order one to stand on the table because I was gonna do um, the craft fair I was hoping to anyway but my craft fair got canceled so but I still got my 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 um I still ordered it. So hopefully it'll be here soon and I can show you guys that. Okay, I think that's it right now. I think they think they think anything else. Anything else. I don't see anything else. Okay, guys, that is it for this evening. I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you haven't, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. All your comments are truly appreciated, not appreciated appreciate it. Come back anytime and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye love bugs.